Welcome to learn how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well, today's lesson is going to be an exercise. You're going to really like this. And by the way, I am colorblind. And I can only see certain colors. This will be a painting of an eye. And uh, it'll be an eye exercise with three colors, black, white, and brown. And let's go to my studio. We're going to have fun. I'll show you how it's done. Come on. This is an eye exercise. Now we draw a short line from here to here, and a long line from there to there, and a little tiny dinky short line, and a long line connecting to the corner. We make that little circle. We put a plus sign in the middle of it to find the center of your pupil. And now we darken the right and left side of the plus sign. Kind of map out our shadow for our eyelashes. We'll take our burnt sienna and uh, we will cover the whole canvas. Now we'll take a men's cotton sock. We'll lightly wipe the paint to the point you can see the pencil showing through the paint. Now we'll start out with the pupil and we'll fill that in. Then we'll fill in the shadowed part of the iris. We'll fill that in with black. Now we'll outline the rest of the eye with black. That long line and that short line. And the corner of the eye, underneath the eye. Now we'll take some burnt sienna and we'll fill in the bottom part of the iris. Once we get that filled in, then we take our brush and we start blending. We'll blend the brown into the black and make it really soft. We're blending in the iris into the pupil and it's going to be really nice. It make it really super soft. Best way to blend is have your brush at an angle and you dab up and down and you do little tiny circles as you dab up and down at the same time. That creates a really nice soft blending effect. We'll add some more burnt sienna and we'll continue to blend. We'll soften up that black line along the edge of the iris. There we go. We'll just fill in the white part with black and white to make a kind of a gray. And then we'll take some white and put over the top of that. Then we'll blend it in. We'll blend in the sides and then around to the edge of the eye. 
And then we'll go to the corner of the eye. And we'll give it a little touch up there. Now we'll get some white. Just pure white by itself. And we'll blend that in closest to the iris. Now we'll take some white and we'll just touch a burnt sienna and we'll put on to the bottom of the iris where the light is shining down at an angle. And you see the dark part of the iris and the pupil. That's where it's shadowed from your eyelid. Okay, then we'll take that and we'll blend it in really nice. Oh, soft, no sharp lines. Now we'll go to the left corner and we'll just take some burnt sienna and a little bit of black and we'll just kind of blend that in. Now we'll take some white. We'll go over the top of the bottom of the eye to where it's a little bit wet and it'll kind of blend into the skin below the eye. Now we'll go ahead and work around the eye. We'll darken it right on the right hand corner as we go up. We're blending at the same time. We're using our zero brush and we're doing little circles. The eyelashes are a continue half circle going from the, the bottom left to the top right. Fast circles. You make the paint really soupy to where you can make those really fine lines. Okay, the eyelashes are done. Now we'll take some white and we'll, we'll put in between the pupil and the iris and the dark side of the eye. Now you see where the shadow of your eyelid That whole part of the top of the eye is all shadowed. We'll add a little bit of a highlight directly underneath the eye to make it look wet. And we'll touch that up. Now we'll get our number two brush. When we're dry brushing the iris, we take a dab of burnt sienna with white and we mix that together. And then we dry our brush out really dry and then we dab it into that to our slider. And then we dry brush the iris, make that a little brighter. Now we're going to dry brush the white part of the eye. Hello, we're back. Now that's how you do a painting of an eye. 
We used the black, brown, and white, and we we created something beautiful. Well, until next time, happy painting. Bye.